Great, so let's have a quick look at heading tag and copy optimization. Really the common theme here is that search engines are going to give more credit if you make the text larger, if you bold it, if you format it, and that's why it's important to have the keywords in those particular places. So, you know, the first thing is really to place the keywords in your heading tags. It's different types of heading tags which really correlate to the different sizes of text. So place the keywords in your H1, H2, H3 tags. When I show you an example, I think that's going to become a bit clearer. So the other thing is that it's best to have 2,000 plus words on the page. A huge study was done and conclusive evidence showed that the longer is really the better. You know, in that, in all those words, in that copy, what you want to do is include the exact keyword about two to three times. You want to drop the keyword in the first hundred words, um, and it's also good to bold and italicize or underline the exact keyword to draw attention to it. So that's really it. Let's return to our example now. I think uh, when I show you an example of all these best practices, it'll bring it to life a little bit more. Um, let's firstly talk about the heading tags. So as I said, it's important to have your keyword in the heading tags. Um, the good news is for the H1 tag, generally in WordPress, it's all, all, the title of the post is automatically wrapped into the H1 tag. So if your keyword is in there, that's going to appear. Now H2 tags, if you want to set that up, you just really format it uh, by selecting H2. So again, I've got the... Um, keyword there, benefits of URL optimization, and finally in H3 tag, examples of URL optimization best practices. So that covers off on heading tags. Let's talk again about the uh, copy optimization. So here you can see I've got my keyword in the first hundred words. I've uh, bolded it and italicized it as well. I haven't got 2000 plus words on the page, but obviously that would be good to do as well. So finally, just scrolling down again and, and reviewing the overview from our WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin, we can see now that the content section has gone green because I've included the keyword in the content as well. So that really wraps up that piece as well. And all is looking very positive um, for great on-page optimization.